Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Nimbus DevOps, and I'm here to talk to you about how to use Python and the uh, HashiCorp Vault API client library in order to communicate with Vault using Python scripts instead of the Vault CLI. So I got a question on my channel that said, uh, you need to get secrets from Vault using the Vault API using Python, and you probably has to use this library and not sure if I had a video on it. Well, I don't, but now I do. <laughs> so uh, I went ahead and put all the code into a public Git repo. I will put a copy to the link of this uh, repo in the description of this video. And I went ahead and just uh, included a couple basic steps. So if you need to do a proof of concept, you can quickly install this. I'm on Windows, so excuse me uh, for using Chaco. If you're on Mac, use Brew. Uh, if you're on any flavor of Linux, use whatever you need to to upgrade. Uh, as well, and then uh, just make sure that it's working. My unseal and root key are on here, but you can't use them anyways. So, and I'm going to destroy this as soon as we're done. Do not put your unseal key and root key in Git. I am doing this for you for educational purposes only. Go ahead and export your vault address and your vault token so you can off and then check the status of the vault status. If you don't have a vault status, then it's probably because you don't have a vault set up. So you can just create uh, one with a vault server dev. So, and I did show you how to do that here. And if you do it in this order, you should not get an error. You should get some output like this. And you can create a secret and just double check that it's working. And um, also go to your local host at whatever your port is. Mine's 8200, which is yours should be too. And you'll be able to see your secret here. Okay, so. Um, that's all fine and great. You've probably seen that a million times. So how do you do this with Python? So you need to use the HashiCorp Vault API client uh, library. So this is pretty cool and super easy. You just install it with pip. I did include that in the instructions as well. So as soon as you get to this far, you just pip install and then you go ahead and start coding. So what does this look like? Uh, well, I'll show you. So first you need to establish that you're actually auth. So import your library, and then I just created a simple function here that establishes a client using the library and then passes the URL, and then does a printf to tell you whether true or false if it's authenticated. And if you just run Python auth, you can see that mine is in fact authenticated. And that's because I went ahead and set the vault address and the vault token variables, environment variables in the environment I'm in on my computer right now. So you need to make sure your environment is set up. Uh, great way to do that, configuration management. Okay, so now if you're, you're gonna be using this a lot because the client has to be defined um, pretty much every time you create something. So I did repeat myself in a couple other scripts, but ideally, you know, you wouldn't have three different things. You would just have, uh, you know, your create uh, would have a client definition, which would be the same as read, which is, you know, and you might want to have this client as an uh, environment variable as well. However, do you variable scoping up to you? Not the point of this video. So let's go ahead and create a secret. So same thing, import HVAC, and I'm calling it HVAC because it sounds like air conditioning, but I'm gonna define a function called write secret. And then, um, which I'm actually gonna change the name of this really quick to create secret, because technically you're creating a secret, not writing one. Um, so again, define your client, and then I'm gonna create a response and it's going to call client and then in that data structure grab secrets and then run the key value pair and i'm using version two right version one does not have versioning for secrets version two does and then i'm going to run create or update secret and then pass the path which in my case is hello and then you can just pass it whatever you want so since this already exists um, to show you that this works i can do like a foo and then like bar and save it and then I went ahead and imported JSON because it looks like garbage if you uh, don't, and that way I can format this a little bit. So I'm just gonna print JSON dumps, print out the response, indent it, sort the keys, and off we go. So if I do a Python, uh, let's see, what do we wanna do? This is create secret. You should get a nice, it almost looks like pretty print or print pretty. Uh, and there's we go. And so if I go back in here, and I go to my vault here, we can see, and if I refresh this, it's gonna make me log in again. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this key 
now I need this guy, my vault. Uh, which one are you? Yeah, my root token. Let me copy this because I'm going to refresh this and it's going to tell me to go pound sand. There we go. So now you can see it's foo and bar. Okay. And I'm on version 8. And you can see that here because I have version 8. So you have a nice little JSON dump where you have your secret. So how do you read a secret? Well, it's very similar. Uh, again, I imported the, both of these and then I defined a function and I just said, here's my client. And this time, instead of create response, I'm going to do a read response client.secrets.kv.v2. This is the same every time. And I'm going to use the read secret version and I'm just going to pass the path hello. So if we look at here, this is our path because it lives in secret. And um, whatever's in here, I just want this in JSON. I just want this dumped out. But there's going to be a little more metadata, so it's not just the values. And I'm going to go ahead and format that. So if you do python read.py, we can see here, here's my data, foo bar version 8. It gives me a timestamp, date stamp, request ID, etc., etc., etc. et cetera. So uh, this is a very simple down and dirty how to use this library. If you'd like more information, I'll also provide a link to the read the docs on uh, HVAC in addition to um, the link to my GitHub repo. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And I hope this helps you and you get it in time for whatever it is you needed to do at work. Happy coding and do all the Python things.